Hey guys, it's Sage. Welcome to episode two of Restoring My 1973 Triumph Spitfire. Um, I have some very interesting news to share with you all. Um, there has been quite an event in the time that I have posted the first episode and today. So it's story time. Let's get into it. So my parents had an event to go to and I let them take my car. Um, you know, why not take the fun, the cool car, right? Um, so they took it to their event. My dad was driving and my mom was in the passenger seat and they were coming home from the event. All was good. And then my mom started hearing some rattling noises and they were like, mm, it's probably fine. It's probably something in like the glove compartment or something. So they looked around and then my mom was like, no, I smell something burning. And they were like, okay, that is not a good sign. So my, they decided to pull over just to check it out, make sure everything was fine. And uh, my dad put the car into neutral and started driving off on the side of the highway. And while he was driving off to the side of the highway, the car completely shut off, shut down, turned off completely stopped running thankfully they were enough on the side of the road but if they hadn't decided that second to pull off they would have like been stuck in the middle of the highway so it like fully shut off shut down so they had to get it towed home and ever since it has not turned on and so basically the car isn't working right now so it's a big event um so that really puts a halt on any of the restorations, any of the cleaning, the detailing, the painting, anything that I wanted to do. First, we need to get the car running again. So um, first, we need to figure out what actually happened. We're not 100% sure. Um, we think obviously it has something to do with the engine. It might have something to do with the alternator. Um, so we have to get in there and check it out. We have had it plugged into a battery, like to charge the battery, like an inserted battery, um, for a few days. I haven't gone and checked on it, so we are going to go see if that helped at all. But yeah, that really changes up how this series is gonna go. Um, also, I was actually invited to a car show on June eighteenth, and it is currently June seventh. And I would really, really like to go. I love car shows and I was invited to bring my car and, you know, I would really love to, but I can't do that if the car isn't running. So let's go take a look at it and talk about what we might think happened and, you know, what we might do to fix it. So I have the bonnet up now and one of the original things we thought it might be is the alternator. We thought it might have seized and snapped the belt. Um, but the alternator looks like here it is and the belt looks fine but if you can see there is some fraying right there so that is most likely what was causing the burning smell um, but thankfully it's still intact so it's not totally snap which is good we put the car in gear and pushed it to see if everything rotated and the belt was rotating the fan was rotating I mean as much as we could push it so that seems to be okay but that is most likely what the burning was now for like the clunking noise it probably has to do with the engine so we're probably going to end up taking this off and taking a peek inside since we have to change the rocker cover anyways um but also i was told by um my mechanic that if i take out the spark plugs i can actually flip the car upside down and we can see if there's any actual problems i am currently editing this video and i am incredibly embarrassed now let me tell you why I do not know much about cars and I'm learning and I am open and honest about the fact that I currently know basically nothing but I am learning and because of that sometimes simple things that people should know even just from common sense I don't realize and I don't know so I was talking to my dad because he had talked to the mechanic and um he said yeah what is best and what we're going to try is we're going to pull up the spark plugs and turn it over and i was like okay turn it over obviously we're trying to figure out what's going on so we're gonna turn over the car now 
you're probably sitting there laughing at me because you definitely know that that's not what it means, even if you don't know about anything about cars. I'm sure common sense, you know, you wouldn't pull over a car. Even if you wanted to see something that was under it, you would put it up on a hoist. The car, a car sh has no need to ever be upside down. So that is why I said flip the car over because I was told we were gonna turn it over. I didn't know what that meant. And I think now basically what it means is just like turning the car on and like seeing what happens. I think, I'm still a little bit confused, but we are in fact not going to be flipping over the car in case you're wondering. I am so embarrassed that I said that. <laughs> Another thing is, um, we could take out the oil filter and see if there's any, like, metal, like, pieces in it, uh, because then we'll know that something scraped or broke off. Now, another thing that we noticed, totally unrelated, but this little, like, thing here from the carburetor to the engine, there is a, like, it's totally snapped open there. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to cut it shorter and then reattach it because originally what I thought is that would mean that air was going into the engine, but actually I talked to the mechanic and the air is actually getting sucked out of it. And that explains another problem that we were having, whereas when we were like driving for 30 minutes and then when we came to a stop, the revs would totally shut off and we'd have to pull the choke and then the oil pressure gauge would go down significantly and the car just didn't have as much power. So we definitely think that's because we were losing the air from this because it's totally, totally broken. So that we're gonna fix first, and then we'll probably go in to take off the rocker cover and see what's going on inside of there, if there's anything super crazy going on. Okay, you can see the hose better from this angle, but it is totally, totally open there. Okay, I have a screwdriver here and I'm just going to unscrew the hose clamp so we can get this hose off. That was super loose and look at that. That doesn't look good. This just comes right off and there's oil all in there. Okay, so I just cut off as little as possible with this exacto knife, but we did have to take off a good amount. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that hose clamp back on there. And now I'm going to put it back where it goes. That feels much better already. Grab the screwdriver. Okay, so I got some help taking off the oil filter because I did not want to wreck my nails, but we're basically, we're gonna test and see if there's any like metal shavings in there. So let's see, does it look like it? Uh, I mean, there's definitely some sort of bits, but <laughs> I don't know what they are. So we're gonna push the car in neutral and in first so I can show you what happens. In neutral, nothing should happen, so let's see. Okay, pushing, 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 and nothing is spinning, which is good. Now we're gonna put it into first, and hopefully it spins. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's moving a little bit. Okay, so it's definitely going as much as it can. Um, the, yeah, it's going, so hopefully all is good with that. So now what we're going to do is pop off the rocker cover and see if there's anything mysterious going on inside. So to do that, I'm going to use the same screwdriver and pop off this side, uh, this hose clamp, and then I'm going to use a uh, ratchet and take these off, and then it should pop right off. Okay, we just took the rocker cover off and it looks super cool underneath. Um, while we were doing it though, this little guy snapped off, so we'll just have to reattach that. But this is what it looks like underneath. The seal on it though is totally destroyed now, but it's okay because I have a new one and I wanted to put on the all like aluminum rocker cover. So now I can do that and we can see if anything is going on in here that explains what happened. I need your guys help with something. First of all, um, I put some just paper towel in there so we don't get anything in the engine like while we're working on it because that would not be good. But anyway, so I have to decide which rocker cover. Um, this one is the original one and that's what it looks like. So I could leave the original one with the like all aluminum silver like little cap on it or I could do this new one and that's what it would look like. 
which is pretty snazzy. It looks super like shiny and clean, but this one's the original, which is kind of fun. So tell me in the comments, which one you guys vote for, the original one or the shiny aluminum one? So I was just informed, it turns out that this is not the original. It does look a lot newer, so I should have been able to guess that myself, but it looks like a newer aluminum one. So it's not the original, but vote for either the black one or the silver one. So since we have the rocker cover off now, we're going to push it in first gear and see what these guys do. Oh my God, I don't know if you can hear that, but one, two, three, Four of them are moving and four of them are not. So maybe that is our problem. So we just tried something and the ones that are moving like up and down are totally sturdy here and stable, but the ones that aren't moving at all and aren't working are totally loose and we can spin them. So maybe that means that they snapped somewhere at the bottom or aren't attached or disconnected. And that's why they're not moving and they're not connected and we can move them. And that's why the car isn't working. All right, it is the next day and my mission today is to fix the trunk seal. So we're going to get on that. It left it out overnight and all the birdies had a blast over top of it. They always sit on the wire and I had it parked under the wire and they just had a grand old time. Um, but basically the seal, if you haven't seen the other two videos on this car, the seal on the trunk is like super duper broken and just not useful so if it's even at the top so i'm just gonna use this scraper and just try and like get under and scrape off as much as possible and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to probably use goo gone because i'll probably need it i don't even know if you can see me <laughs> um and then i have a new seal that i'm going to replace it with once it's all clean all right so i got it off to the best of my ability and it is looking much better i vacuumed it all up and it's looking better nothing at the top so now i'm going to put on the new one okay so here's the new one i just roughly laid it out just to see how well it would fit and it's a little long which is good um i decided i'm gonna put the seam here rather than at the back because i don't want all the water dripping into it like when i open the trunk and stuff so basically it just has like some teeth and all i have to do is push it down and it's all good to go i just wrapped it around and it is looking so much better so much more secure this is about how much extra i have so i'm just going to cut it here with an exacto knife and then secure it this last little bit on it's cut here perfectly we did it on a little bit of an angle so it would be more secure but there it is it looks so much cleaner and more secure now i feel like water isn't gonna get everywhere so that is awesome all right guys well that is the end of today's video i know we didn't do much restoration but what's really important is getting the car running and you know being able to actually get it onto the road and moving um so if you guys have any ideas about what might be wrong with it if you've ever dealt with this before if you have any ideas for me or things i should try please please let me know and also don't forget to let me know which rocker cover you like best the black one or the silver one all right have a great day guys bye